Villani's journey through the ranks to international cricket hasn't always been a smooth ride. Even as a little girl in the backyard, she had to keep up with three older brothers. They certainly didn't take any prisoners. Um, I hardly ever got a bat actually, because there was usually dummy spits before I got a chance. But um, I'm not really sure why I stuck at it, but uh, I just seemed to love it. Representing her state, Villani quickly earned the nickname Junior, because she was always the youngest. By 2010, the Victorian had developed into an explosive opener, powering her way into the Southern Stars side for their victorious T20 World Cup campaign in the West Indies. And Villani is off the mark with a boundary. To go over there, it was just an amazing experience. I mean, you sort of get treated a little bit like royalty and, you know, to have the security and to um, have people sort of like looking at you and asking for autographs and that, like, it was just a surreal experience and something that I never thought you know, would actually happen to me and um, from that moment I knew that's all I wanted to do. It was a bit of a dream, I mean it was sort of happened in slow-mo, um, I just remember the last ball when it was hit back and Elise Perry stopped it with her foot and then I was just running crazy and I saw Leah Poulton, she was the first person I saw and we just hugged and then everyone else was in a massive group hug and then there was champagne going everywhere and the cheers like it was just unbelievable really and ever since then like oh gotta do anything to have that experience again but that looked unlikely dropped after a dramatic form slump Villani was also in danger of losing her place in the victorian side then coached by current australian custodian catherine fitzpatrick I remember having a conversation with, with Elise that was quite a difficult one to be honest where she was questioning whether or not she could continue and pretty much she just had to find that little girl inside that you know that when she was she needed to get excited about cricket again and, and I think that's what we see now and that's why we see the player we see now. She gave me a bit of a kick out the backside which was you know at the time was pretty upsetting and um, I guess a bit confronting but it was the best thing that ever happened. Um, it made me realise that you know you're not just going to get handed things and you really need to work hard. The road back to the top took Villani to the other side of the world, the 23 year old heading to England to rebuild her body and her batting. Going over there sort of not many people knowing who you are or what you've done or um, who you play for or anything like that. Um, there was a lot less pressure and um, it just gave me the opportunity to enjoy my cricket. She's changed her whole body shape with what she's done um, for fitness, for a start. The three years hard slog paid off when the right-hander was recalled to the Southern Stars squad for this year's 50 over World Cup in India. I don't want to let it go again and I feel like I've earned it a bit more so um, yeah, it's, it's a massive difference um, three years ago to now.